my partner in marriage and ministry, Sister Florence Dees, to the faithful officers and members of this, our beloved church, Emmanuel, Amen. where we hold that everybody is somebody. We want to thank you this morning for joining, joining us by way of in the parking lot conference call. You may even, even be viewing this on YouTube. We thank you. We pray that you will experience the same blessing in which we have experienced. We want to thank our music department for creating such a worship atmosphere this morning. Amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, if you will, turn with me to the book of John, John chapter 10. John chapter 10, I will begin reading at verse 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hands. My Father, which gave them to me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. This morning, I want to talk from the subject, their security in God's hand. So true, so true, so true. Amen. There's security, security in God's hands. I believe everyone under the sound of my voice agree that we all want our homes, automobiles, and especially our lives to be protected. Therefore, we purchase various insurance plans to provide us with a sense of security. In the text, Jesus makes a bold security claim for believers. He says, I give them my sheep eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hands. The Lord gave a graphic illustration of security when pictured the belief when he pictured the believers resting in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Yet it is important to understand that a person is in the hands of God for more reasons than just security. Jesus' words suggest other implications of being in God's hands. Consider, if you will, first of all, God makes a person who's in his hands. God makes a person who's in his hands. There was a time for all of us when we were not in God's hands. And yet, there are those who still refuse to submit to the Good Shepherd. And they stand outside the fold of safety. Some people want to take over and 
Thank you.